Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The city of Cyprus, it's considered a great place to live in, part because of the sense of community and part because the leaders there are interested in looking at the big picture. With us now, the mayor of Cyprus, Rob Johnson. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much, Leslie. It's, it's a pleasure to be here, and I want to thank Time Warner for the opportunity to, to talk about uh, Cyprus. All right, you're welcome. There you go. Uh, so why do you like living in Cyprus? What do you think is good about it? Well, it's funny. I mean, you, you look at the city of Cyprus, and back in the 50s when the city was incorporated, uh, uh, cows outnumbered the number of people that actually lived in Cyprus. And now we look forward to, you know, 2014, 2015. And uh, just this past year, Cyprus was rated as the eighth best city to raise a family. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to think that the, the reason that Cyprus is a great place to live, work or play is based on the community and its involvement. I mean, you look at the businesses and, and the people that make up Cyprus. I mean, we look at people and the symbol of the V sign and, and what does the V stand for? I would like to think that it's the spirit of volunteerism and uh, what the community brings out uh, the best in the community itself. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of good examples too, uh, the Boys and Girls Club and Habitat for Humanity and... Oh, so true. I mean, uh, any city will, will boast about uh, its education, they'll, they'll boast about uh, uh, having a safe city to live, but when we look at uh, some of our um, aspects or um, assets of our city, you look at Oxford Academy. Um, number one rated high school in the, in the state, number four in the nation, um, and they give back to the community. So they just uh, recently um, put together a, a, a prom for the seniors in our community, working along with our senior center, and it was a great event that our seniors could actually remember so those days. Of, in the senior prom. Exactly. I love exactly. it. That sounds like a lot of fun. But also, it is our businesses, and the businesses give back to our community as well too. I mean, you have United Healthcare that uh, put together some Easter baskets for the Boys and Girls Club. And it wasn't all about candy, but it was putting together healthy snacks. It was art supplies. It was games and, and sports equipment for our Boys and Girls Club. And then you look at Vans. Vans Tennis Shoes gives back uh, um, their employees. They bring like 60 people. They come to our nature area, uh, nature center, so we can get ready for the summer. And they clean up the whole area so our community and, and the surrounding citizens can also participate uh, and a great event. Uh, let's talk about the strategic plan, which you're doing to uh, look ahead to decide what the real issues and the needs are of the city in the future. And we have a new city manager, Pete Grant, has come over to our city. And uh, one of the things he looked at was the fact of putting together a strategic, strategic plan because we have not had one really put together since the 1990s. But we got my colleagues, my city council members, along with city staff and directors, and we put down on paper what are the things that make our community great? What are the things we could improve? And with that, what kind of plans can we put forward for the next three months, six months, and three years? And so um, we just recently at the last city council approved uh, the plans that we want to move forward with. And uh, what do you think are top on the list? Well, I think some of the ones that are top on the list is obviously, obviously your budgets. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's your public safety. It's uh, community uh, programs for the future. You know, this summer you have some great events coming up. Tell us about the, uh, the most exciting ones. Well, they start with the concert on the green, and that's where you get all of the different community members, both the young kids as well as our senior, that come together for different uh, concert events. They start in June and go all the way to the end of August. It's a fun way for everyone to get together. And then you also so have the um, community festival. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up, Leslie. Thank you very much. The Community Festival this year will be the 35th annual Community Festival. It will start with our uh, uh, recreation run, and then it goes to Chili Cook-Off. And it's Saturday, events. July 25th. It is. So great to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank Rob you very Johnson much. for being here. Appreciate it. And thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.